fourth grade into math lesson 5.6. Multiply three digit and four digit numbers. Okay, so we've been doing that already, right guys? We've learned the box form, right? Which is also expanded form, right? Okay, then we've also learned partial product, okay? And then we've also learned just the general way with grouping, correct? Okay, I'm going to use the standard algorithm to find the product of a multi-digit number and a single digit number. So they're, they're calling, um, when we were regrouping, the, they're calling that the standard algorithm, okay? It's the way your parents learned, okay? Stuff like that. Far field learning. Susan ran 1,423 feet on a track. David ran three times as far. How can you determine how far David ran? So they want to see the use of place value, the extended or expanded form, or um, number cubes. Let's do um, our expanded form of the box, okay? So the 1,423 feet and three times, right? So I'm going to draw my box. How many place values do I have, guys? Three, four. four, right? So I need to have four sections in my box. Three is my single digit, right? Okay, so literally we pull each place value and what do we put in the rest to hold their spot? Yeah. Zero, right? So the first one is 1,000. The next one is what? What's our next place value? 400. 400. Next. 20 for the tens and three for the one. First box, I put what? 1,000 times three, which gets me 3,000. 400 times three, which gets me 1,200. Next box, 20 times three, which gets me 60. And my next box would be three times three, which gets me nine. nine. And then what do I do with all of those? Nine. Add them. So I write it vertically and add. So nine, six, two, four. Okay. Now we're going to check that with the standard algorithm or our re with our regrouping. Okay. So I would write my original number is 1,423 times 3. Okay, so we're going to work right to left. So 9 times 9 is, or 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. So I put the 2 down here. I regroup my 1 up here. 3 times 1 is 4. 3 plus 1 is Four. Did I get the same answer? Yes. So David ran 4,269 feet. The learner standing number one. Dion has three full coin collection books. Each book holds the same number of coins. How many coins does Dion have? Draw a quick picture to show the problem. Okay, so we have our 104, right? And we have our three full coin books. So pull out our information. And then what we're looking for is how many coins does Dion have? Can you want a quick picture? So that's with our base 10 blocks. So I have 100 displays. So how many flats do I have in the group? One. Do I have any longs in the tens? No. No. And then how many small cubes for the ones? Four. And I need to draw that picture how many times? Three. Three times. Okay, then regrouping. How many do I have to have in a group to be able to regroup? Ten. So do I have enough small cubes to do that? Yes. So I'm going to do the two, two, which is eight, or the four, four, which is eight, and then two more, which gets me ten, and I need to draw a long. Okay, can I regroup any more? No, that's it. So now I have three flats, one long, and two small cubes. So let's work that vertically and see if we got the right answer. So 104 times three. So three times four is what? It's 12. So put a two, carry a one. Three times zero is what? 
zero plus one is one, and then three times one is three. So does that give me the same answer? Yes. So 312 points is our total answer. Let's talk about letter B. When you multiply the ones, how do you record three times four ones? So we write the two in the ones column and we regroup the one in the what column? What place are you call The tens column, okay? Then what did we do next? Then we took our one, our single one times our 10, right? And then added our regrouping, okay? When you multiply the hundreds, how do you record three times one? Do you have to regroup there? If it was a two digit number, would you have to regroup? Yeah. No, you just simply write it, okay? Um, because you have no more place values to regroup with, right? Okay, in this case, we didn't have to because we didn't have a double digit number. So Dion has, 312 coins. Step it out. Number two, Lisa challenges Carlos to read 7,137 words a day for seven days. How many words is that? Okay, so they want us to estimate it first. So we're going to take seven, because we don't need to take that since it's a single digit number. And then it's that 7,137. Is that going to be 7,000 or 8,000? Which is it closer to? 7,000. Put seven in a box. Seven times seven is 49 and add three more zeros, okay? So now they want us to write the problem vertically by lining up our place values, okay? So um, these colored boxes are regrouping, so don't write in those, okay? So I'm gonna write 7,137 times seven. Okay, so they want us to multiply the ones first. So seven times seven ones is what? It's 49 ones. So I'm going to put my nine here, and I'm going to put my four here. So I got four tens and nine ones. Okay. All right. Then they want us to multiply our tens. So seven times three is what? 21. So I'm going to have 21 tens plus how many more? Four, because we had to regroup, right? So what is 21 plus four? 25. 25. So I'm going to have 205 tens. So I put my five here and I regroup my two up here. Now we multiply our hundreds. So what is seven times one? So we have seven hundreds, okay? So we have seven hundreds plus, what did I regroup? Two hundreds, which equals nine. Okay, so then I just put a nine right here. Do I have anything to regroup there? No, because no, it's a single digit. So then I go to my thousands. So seven times seven is? 49. 49, so I have 49 thousands. So I have four ten thousands and nine thousands. Do I have to regroup though? No, yes. no, because do I have any more place values to regroup? No. no. So I just write the whole thing up here at the front. So 7,137 words a day for seven days is 49,959 words. So is that answer reasonable? Yes, yes because it's close to our estimate of 49,000. Check understanding number one. A short book only has 236 words. The library has five copy copies of this book. How many words appear in these books? So we're going to pull out our information, 236 words, five copies, and how many books appear, or how many words appear in the book? So what am I going to do? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Add, subtract, multiply. Okay, so we are going to multiply. So 236 times what? Five. Okay, word right to left, uh, starting with my smallest and then to my largest place value. So five times six is 30, so I put the zero and carry the three. Okay, five times three is 15 plus three is 
18, carry the one. Five times two is 10 plus one is 11. So my answer is 1,180 words. On your own, show your work. Number two, how much will six gaming systems cost? Okay, so how much will six gaming systems cost? So we're going to do the six and then the 327. What am I going to do? 327 times six. So six times seven is what? It's 42. Put a two. Mentally carry the four. Six times two is 12 plus four is 16. Put the six, carry the one. Six times three is 18 plus one is 19. So 1,962. What's my label? Dollars, because they want to know how much it costs. Okay. Seven through five, we or not seven through five, three through five, we are going to estimate and then get the actual answer. So, um, am I going to estimate that to 700 or 800? 800. So, 800 times three, put eight in my box. Eight times three is 24 and add two zeros. Okay, three times four is? 12 put the 2 and carry the 1. 3 times 5 is? Plus 1 is? Carry the 1. 3 times 7 is? Plus 1 is? So is that a reasonable answer? Yeah, because it's close to 2,400. Okay, 6,821 closer to 6,000 or 7,000? 7,000 times 5. Put seven in my box. Seven times five is 35 and add three zeros. So 35,000 is my estimate. Now we're going to find our actual answer. Okay. So five times one is five. Five times two is zero. Carry the one. Five times eight is plus one is. Put the one. Carry the four. Five times six is 30 plus four is. And then I can just put 34 down here because I don't have any more place values. Is that a reasonable answer? Yes. yes. Okay, estimate. So, 4,000 or 5,000? 5,000 times 9 equals, put 5 in a box. So, 5 times 9 is? It's 45 and then add 3 zeros. Okay, so our estimate is 45,000. Okay. 9 times 2 is 18. Carry the 1. 9 times 3 is plus 1 is put the 8. Carry the 2. 9 times 9 is plus 2 is so put the 3 and carry the 8. 9 times 4 is 36. 36 plus 8 is 44. So is that a reasonable answer? Yes. Okay, now number six through nine, we're going to do those with partners. I'll check in and then you'll do your homework on your own. Okay?